What have we here? Whether it is true oh. that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man, he moved of his own volition. He spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If then a machine may have all the properties of a man and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine this contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Okay. Something I really like about Alex, one of the reasons why I'm here doing this, is that she's really humble. She has this incredibly positive view of humanity. She believes we can accomplish anything, but it's not about her. She doesn't think that she's smarter or better than anyone else. She just looks at us as a species, and even though she can see how small we are in the grand scheme of things, she thinks that we could conquer the stars and give meaning to the universe, even now even when none of us are going to live to see it. Isn't that awesome? Hmm. hmm I don't see a marker for this one. Oh, okay, never mind. There it is. I guess it would help if I had any idea where the goal for this puzzle was. Oh. Okay, so we need red and green. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm not seeing RGB inverter or converter in here. I mean, okay, there's that one. <laughs> okay, so if I hold this door open with the jammer, I should be able to take this out. This is open, so I should be able to use this, but now we're short an item. Oh, or are we? Hold on. 
we have... We should have all the colors we need here. So that needs to be green. We've got blue. We have red and blue. There's green. Okay. Eight puzzles. Hooray! Sign for Tetris block puzzle, and they they really made those a lot worse than the original. That's my that's my one substantive complaint <laughs> is dealing with those uh, path puzzles. Okay, so this will be the, the last tower in the north. Cool. Wait, what is this? Oh, I solved this one, didn't I? Yep. So that happens, but okay. So that's the same symbol that's on the other puzzles. Hmm. Oh, good. Oh, once I solve four of them, I'll be allowed to uh, go into one of these. Yeah. Okay. So there's a total of six. If we solve four, we should be able to open one of those golden gates and do whatever puzzles inside. Whoops. Oh, hey, the big glowy thing. I walked right by it. Typical. Okay, that was an easy one. Oh, it's hear me, friend, and heed my words. Beware, Pandora. She is nothing but fear and despair, and she will do anything to prevent you from reaching the flame. It is she who disrupted the trials of the Sphinx and who bound me in the... Well then. Well done, 1K. Looks like our hypothesis was correct. The megastructure is opening again. 
Everyone come to the VTOL, please. It's time to find Athena. What about Pandora? She seems capable of displacing or controlling the other entities. We should be careful, but we can't let such a vague threat paralyze us. Hmm. Just keep your eyes open. There's something I've been thinking about. I know the new Alexandria disaster was traumatic. I know accidents like that make us think that it's best to stick to what we have. But what about all the accidents that have happened in New Jerusalem that nobody talks about? Hmm. The collapse of the Vukovsky building. The Calvin Street explosion. The derailment that almost killed Benaroy Boyer in Canada. All of those happened because we stopped investing enough resources in our civilization. It will happen again, either way. With how little we have to work with, it's only a matter of time. You see, there may be a price for pursuing progress, but there's also a price for not pursuing it. That's kind of what I was coming to, thinking about what the about the various dialogues. Oh, I don't remember where the VTOL is. objective is to determine the relationship between the megastructure and Athena. Did she find it? Did she build it? Why was she here in the first place? Explore. Dig up anything you can. We need to start finding answers. I can't imagine one person building all this. Don't forget about Miranda. There were at least two of them. I can't imagine a hundred people building this. All right, everyone. Have a look around, but stay in touch and be careful. 1K, can you stay a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Yeah? Where did the, the audio go? I'm concerned. There we go. Byron is brilliant, but all he can think about is the possibility of finding Athena. She was his mentor, and her disappearance shattered him. I'm afraid he's not seeing the dangers. Mm -hmm. To me, this place seems chaotic, dysfunctional. Yes, it's all very impressive, but I think it's broken. And what we're seeing is... Uh, it's nonsense, frankly. You've interacted with it more than anyone. What do you think? Duh. Hmm. I don't see it. Or at least I'm not convinced that the pattern is meaningful. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but please, be careful. deeper into the megastructure. Not quite sure where I am. Seem to be right in the middle of the machinery. Please, watch yourself, Byron. This is incredible. I don't even know how to describe what I'm seeing. I don't think this is a building. I think this is a machine.
Oh, geez, again. Why don't you just tell people that they're wrong? If you tell them the truth, they'll listen. It's not that simple. Oops. Straton wrote that the most common error we commit is to think that ideas determine reality, when in fact the opposite is true. Ideas follow from material conditions. Belief systems are formed to explain and justify the way we live. We did not have kings because we believed in the mandate of heaven. We believed in the mandate of heaven because we lived in monarchies. But we have free will. Oh, free will isn't the same as freedom, Miranda. We're not free from the constraints of reality or history. I was shaped by the simulation. New Jerusalem is shaped by its limitations. So, what? We're just trapped? History can only go one way? Maybe, maybe not. The question is, how do we free ourselves? How do we build a world where our ideas do shape reality? That's why we came here. I knew it! Athena's here. She built this. That other voice. Was that Cornelius? It definitely sounded like him. Come to think of it, he went on a research expedition around the time Athena vanished. He was gone for years. People thought he'd died. And all this time, he knew where she was? We should talk to him. <laughs> we will, when we get back. But right now, we have to focus on finding Athena. We are so close. Surface is magnetic? No, nope. it's anti gravity. Your coot was right. I should have known. Okay, so if anti gravity is on the table, um, then things got more advanced here than I think anyone would have even speculated. Wait, that's the VTOL. Whoops. Is there any other direction I can go? Or did I just miss a turn off somewhere? Oh, okay. One K, I'm over here. Hold on. I'll open that door for you. <laughs> this takes me back to the ending of uh, Tell's Principle One. Four. Three beams, three receivers. I guess we know what to do. Be careful. The sheer amount of power running through this place. I'll take care of this puzzle. You do the other two, okay? 
This is kind of fun. Maybe Alexandra Drennan was right. Play is part of what makes us human. Melville, is there anything in the system that could tell us where Athena is? I don't know. Someone's logged into the system. Got it. here. Okay, there we are. This is what I was here for. There we go. Wait, that's where I came in. What about, uh... Okay, so the green laser's way over there, but then presumably the puzzle that controls it is way over there.
I'm kind of lost. I think we're going to have to cut it for today. I'm kind of tired. I uh, only slept about four hours last night, which is not really ideal. And I am um, <coughs> not putting together where I actually have to go here. Maybe on something or something. Well, this is close to what I was meant to do. Still have to activate the lasers, though. For laser singular. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save, call it a day. I want to thank everyone for wandering by. Hope you had a good time. As for now, I'm going to cut to the end slate and do a little raid. Hold up. Yeah, we'll raid Cat Crasher. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll be back at it um, next week. Friday, sorry. Friday and Saturday evening, and then Sunday afternoon. Um, Mortalis Principle 2, Soul Hackers 2, and uh, Stardew Valley Co-op. Until then, my nonsense can be found here at Twitch, Spook Plays Games, Twitter, Spook Plays Games, and YouTube, Spook327. Thanks for watching. Please stand by and uh, hold for, the, for a raid. Well, if you're wondering what's happened, <laughs> so am I.